I've got like tornado erectile dysfunction this episode because I cannot get a single one up and it is driving me crazy. I want a tornado to face off against giants. Is that so much to ask? I'm gonna use just one mace spinner, a whole lot of cheering, and you had better feel hyped up. Now go, yes, yes, there we go. We got worked. What's up guys and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And for today's episode, we're gonna be taking our first look at the new Campaign Creator. Apparently the most recent update to tabs brought it to the Steam Workshop. So now you can make your own levels, uh, upload your own campaign, challenge people to beat it. And after looking through the most popular levels, the first thing that stood out to me was Tab Central's Secret Units. You guys know I'm a huge fan of the Secret Units and it's pissed me off that they're not in the campaign. So this should be good. Our first level is called Icy Winds, where we'll be facing off against two fan bearers. I assume they're blue because they're the blue team, right? It's not because they have exposed nips to the Arctic wind, even though that one definitely looks cold. Uh, but this is what I'm talking about, right? Normally, I wouldn't get to see this unit. I think I've seen the fan bearer like once when I unlocked it, I tried him out, and that was it. So it's nice to chop up a different unit for a change. You guys ready? Get in there, squire, okay? You shouldn't be putting your sword behind your back though. I mean, they can still give you a mild concussion, maybe? Like these guys aren't warriors. I don't know what their purpose is, but they're fan bears. They're like the king's furniture. <laughs> they're swinging fans right now, but at two o'clock they'll be feeding them grapes. Our next level is called the Fair, where we'll be facing off against a whole bunch of knife-wielding jesters that are again underdressed for the environment. You know, the short sleeve shirt, the short puffy pants, I mean, at least they're wearing a hat to cover their non-existent ears. I mean, it doesn't matter how they're dressed, okay? They'll be cold either way when they're dead. All that matters is that they have a tendency of kicking units in the balls. So who isn't likely to get kicked in the balls? Probably a ninja, right? When was the last time you saw a ninja get kicked in the nuts? Exactly, that's what I thought. Get in there, ninjas, and hopefully keep your distance. No, don't walk up to them. There we go. <laughs> okay, I knew it wasn't gonna be too difficult, but I still expected them to put up at least a bit of a fight. Ooh, that is some juicy testicular karma if I've ever seen it. Moving right along to a level called The Lesson, where we're facing off against a group of teachers. This is a little bit more intimidating, okay? It's not because they're appropriately dressed. It's because I don't understand how this unit works. Like, it seems every time you attack them, they counter and then kill you. So if they parry everything you do, then what do you do? I, again, I haven't faced off against these units all that much, so I, I guess we could just blow them up. Right? I can afford a catapult? Yeah, screw it. Let's see you idiots counter this. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Something tells me that backflip and crunch on the landing was effective. Um, fire, 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 fire. Okay, uh, just, just, really? How, oh, um, what? Uh, excuse me? What is okay. The student becomes the master. <laughs> I don't really know what happened there, but I feel like I'm getting detention. That didn't really feel all too fair. I, I think I might've found a bit of an exploit in the game because they had no idea how to handle a catapult as teachers probably would. I can't imagine they have that much experience in the field, but I'm gonna try that again. Except for this time, we're gonna do teacher versus teacher. If I don't know how this unit works, then we might as well just have a 50-50 coin toss. I believe in my teachers. These guys are just a bunch of amateur grade substitutes and we're gonna stare at each other. Yeah, okay, like less exchanging of barbs and more stabbing in the guts. Oh, we're outnumbered. No, no, how are we losing the duel? That doesn't make any sense. Is it the home field advantage because they're blue? What are you guys doing? It's like they can't reach any other unit. They are dueling though, like sword on sword and everything. This guy's got a 2v1 on his hands. Oh, come on. I, be I believe in you. Yeah, that's it. Keep him at bay. Did that one guy just die from the cold or something? Did he slip on the ice and hit his head? Because nothing is happening. They're yelling at each other and they're swinging their swords around, sometimes sword on sword, but nobody is getting hit. 
no red or blue blood drawn, so I feel like I'm... Oh, wait a second. What if I uh, do a little something like this? <laughs> hey, there we go. So oh, crap. My bad. Let's try that again, shall we, gentlemen? On guards! What happened to the other ones? Oh, dear. I don't suppose you would be interested in stabbing each other, would you? Come on now, don't be like that. Uh, stab, stab, stab. Okay, I can see why this was so difficult. I'm not a very good teacher. Next up, we have a level called the Execution, where we're facing off against a couple of executioners, and I stand by the fact that they are just the most intimidating looking unit in this game. And it's not even the seven foot tall ax that's the size of a car door, it's the potato bag they got on their face. It's creepy. You don't know what's under there. It's probably another googly-eyed face, but at the same time, you don't know. It could be anything. I'm really curious if the teacher can parry that giant axe. It's gonna be 2v2, so it's not gonna be a particularly fair fight, but you guys seem to parry everything else, so... Oh, okay. Um, can they really not hit you? A two for one, that was unfortunate. In all reality, I could use firework archers every time. I could just send all these melee units into space, laugh at their re-entry into the atmosphere, but I wanna try to find interesting, semi-fair fights. So how about we try the Chieftain? Right, because they cost the exact same amount as the Executioner. It's 2v2, and they've always surprised me. They're oddly aggressive for such a simple unit. That didn't kill him. Really? How do you survive getting hit by that? Like, even if it's blunt, it's like getting hit with a refrigerator on a stick. <laughs> oh, he's just gonna dosey do around. Okay. Not gonna lie, the tap on the back with the stick attached to a rock surprised me. Technically, we can move on, but it just struck me that the teacher isn't the only one that dodges and parries attacks strangely. Right, the jester does it too. And I'm really curious if he would get hit by the giant axe. We didn't get to see that when we faced off against the Jester because, well, we punctured some silly balls. <laughs> Let's see if you're gonna do a backflip and avoid that axe. Yeah, that's exactly what they do. And then stab. I can't get over the fact that they can backflip like every attack. It's so absurd. Well, on the upside, things are finally warming up for us as we move on to the martial arts, where we face off against Taekwondo units. And that foot looks like it's itching to get buried in somebody's taint. <laughs> so how about we give them as many heavily armored taints as we can, right? I want a good taint to foot ratio. They can't kick all of us. I don't really remember how extra the Taekwondo unit is, but hopefully this works. Great Spartans aren't used to having quantity, but they pulled it off pretty handedly. Holy crap. I kind of figured armor and a shield would be really good against kicking, but I didn't think they would just T-pose and plank to their death. Maybe having weapons against martial arts units isn't all that fair. Okay, so we'll try hand-to-hand -hand combat or at least as close as I can get with the headbutters. But if they win, we're moving on, okay? This is as fair as I can make it, kind of, because we can buy a whole lot of headbutters. All right, I'm feeling confident. You guys can rush them, right? Just all, everybody dive into them at once, and uh, yep, that did the job. I mean, this guy really, just, like I said, they don't have enough feet. There's, there's too many taints. Oh no, up next we have a level called the Tornado, and we know how this is gonna work, okay? Those absolutely gorgeous cheerleaders are gonna eat it, but then we have to deal with the mace-wielding Beyblade up front. I don't suppose the teacher could parry a tornado. Is that a thing? Holy crap, I could buy a whole lot of them. Yeah, maybe that'll be a thing. Maybe we can make this work. At the very least, it should be interesting to see a tornado full of teachers. That's something that I didn't expect to say this morning. Um, you guys are just kind of getting tenderized. Oh, oh, it actually worked! What? Hold on! I didn't think that was gonna happen. I just assumed they were all gonna get swept up with their silly little haircuts and beards, but no, they actually stopped him. He was kind of dancing in all of them. <laughs> it's a bit of a hip-hop circle, but they killed him. What the hell? 
I know I probably shouldn't do this every time, but I really can't resist another mirror match. We're gonna do tornado versus tornado and see what the hell happens. I would imagine one of them is gonna eat it before they even take off again, but I'm hoping it's gonna be him and not me. Come on, come on, cheer harder. I think he's broken all of his bones. No, no, you can't be hitting your cheerleaders or you're never gonna get up off the ground. What is happening right now? This is not a dance battle, okay? You guys need to turn into a tornado. The level is called Tornado. No. Is something broken right now? Oh, crap. I don't have enough cheerleaders to take off again. Oh, that might be the problem. Come to think of it. I don't think five cheerleaders can make this guy transform, so whoever made this level screwed up. And now we're just left with with whatever the hell this is. Guys, the cheerleaders are all dead. Nobody's watching this anymore. You can stop spinning. I can only imagine how much vomit must be in those helmets right now. We lost. Okay, yeah, we deserve to lose. I want to see a tornado, damn it, and I don't know how to make it happen because I can't do it, and I don't think I can help them do it, right? My cheerleaders won't cheer for the other team. Maybe we can add a little wind of our own, right? What if we blow on it? It's like an N64 cartridge, right? We're just gonna give you a quick little blow in. Get your mind out of the gutter. That was way, that was way more effective than I would have thought. Holy crap, when you have a full troop of them, then you just can't get hit. What is this guy gonna do? I'm not even 100% sure what happened to all the cheerleaders. They just exploded and turned into tumbleweeds. That wasn't us, was it? It's a Thanos snapped somewhere and they all just disintegrated. This poor guy has no idea, right? He's just gonna get pinned up against the wall and blown. Can we blow him off the map? Look at this absolute mess right now. Like, we're not even all swinging. It's just the first four or five of them. The rest of them are kind of struggling to breathe by the looks of it. Like, what are you guys doing? C come on, get your acts together. We're, we're trying to blow this guy into a house. It's like the reverse three little pigs. Up next, we have the tank with good old Vlad the Impaler, or just the Impaler. I don't know if Vlad is copyrighted or not. Either way, I've always been a little disappointed with this unit. Okay, he's got the spear, but he doesn't go full-blown dark peasant and shish kebab people. He just kind of hits them like it's a bat. So why don't we do the same thing? You know what? We'll, we'll club him to death. I don't even think we need many of them. Screw it. We'll, we'll just use half of our money. What is he going to do? I really doubt he could do anything against this many clubbers, right? Please don't let my hubris be my downfall. Come on, you guys can uh, get stuck on the tip a little bit. Come on, hit him. What are you doing? There's so many of you. You have so many clubs. Ah, oh, crap. Probably should have spent all my money. Yeah, his bat was bigger. That's just the guarantee rule of nature, right? Always carry the bigger stick. Or in today's case, carry more sticks. Something like that, right? We'll have a full-blown coliseum of them. Just rush them, guys. It's like I said, they can't kick all the taints. They can't spear all the bodies, right? Maybe we're pushing them back and, and hollering in pain, but I don't know if we're really hitting him. Guys, don't rub them with the club. Oh, they were hitting him. Well, screw me, I guess. Again, I feel like I shouldn't be wasting my time with this, but I gotta ask the question, can the teacher parry the giant stick? Like, I shouldn't call it a stick. It's like a sharpened telephone pole, but he, he got stuck on it. He got stuck on it. That Something tells me that wasn't a parry, sir. Was that, a, is this gonna be on our exam? How about the gesture? Can you backflip the telephone pole? That seems more likely, right? You guys got your little knives and, uh, okay, one of them ate it, but, oh, come on. That was way more than a backflip, but you are dead. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Was that a good kick in the nuts? You guys were telling me that these guys have knives on their shoes. I never realized that. Oh, yeah, look at that. So it's not necessarily a kick in the nuts. It's just a dirty blow. It looks like our easy ride's over because we've now moved on to a level called the Eternal Winter with a couple of Oolers. It's all fun and games scoring around with Vlad, but Oolers like one of the most powerful gods in this game and genuinely terrifying to face off against. So 
What do we do against him? We got 3,000. I could try something ranged. Do you think he's afraid of snakes? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, we can't buy nearly enough snake archers for this. What if we spread out? We could do something like this. He can't throw axes at all of us. And then hopefully he'll throw axes at the snakes. Uh, You guys need to fire the snakes like over this way. Oh, they try to freeze the snakes at their feet and freeze themselves. Genius counter move. Way to go, guys. Everybody except for that guy. Fire again. You guys need to fire again. You're standing around like a bunch of stupid lawn bowling pins. Oh my god, you have got to be kidding me right now. Really? Really? I can almost understand how you can make a snake cold enough to cock it into your bow. But what I can't understand is how you stand there with a thumb up your butt and just wait to die. They had that. They absolutely had that. What if we try the ice archer instead? Very similar. Probably not going to get many shots off either, but I'm kind of hoping that if we freeze them, we should be able to last longer. Holy crap, we could buy a whole lot more ice archers than I expected. Okay, that's good. So hopefully I spread them out enough so they don't get multi-hit. Yeah, that's perfect. Just, just freeze them, guys. You could be the ones to cool them off, not be cooled. You could do it. Come on, look at them. There's, oh, there we go. There goes one. Suck it, Uller. Aha. Hoisted by your own petard facade. I like to talk like I'm smart, but let's be honest. Nobody's smart playing this game. I only just realized that we're back in the cold weather again. What happened? I, I was enjoying the warm weather. We're in a level called the Melting Snow, where we have I exam Hodor rolling around dollar store Shenron should be easy enough, right? I kind of want to do wheelbarrow versus wheelbarrows because I can't even imagine how this is going to work. I, I would assume that we're going to get torched and they're going to get tomatoed and it's going to be really hard to follow exactly what's happening. Are we winning? Are we losing? I want to say we're winning. I think we got rid of the dragons. Now it's just the Hodors. Oh my God. <laughs> It's a Hodor hoedown. It's a it's a whore down. No, no, I didn't say that. <laughs> God damn this game. I did not expect to see a level with multiple types of units, but now we have swords and throwing stars with what I assume is the samurai master and the ninja master. The ninja master has had far too much coffee this morning. Okay, don't mind him. But I kind of want to make them face off against their own units. What if we tried dragons? Would they be able to take down like six dragons? That's a lot of dragons. Yeah, I feel pretty confident about that. And the best part is my dragons can't fall down the hole. Oh, right. I forgot that you're really strong for a ranged unit. Uh, that's a problem. Did we get the Shogun? <laughs> I don't think we did. Ah, crap. Yeah, you are just a little machine gun, aren't you? Like, what do you mean? So we have two very different units, which means we're probably going to need two very different strategies. And I'm thinking for the Ninja Master, why don't we try Samurai? Because they do deflect ranged attacks. Probably not that many ranged attacks, but we can always just have a whole bunch of Samurai, right? I got a bunch of money. Why don't we just rush them? Something like that. Yeah, you should be able to cut down one dude. And then that'll leave us with a little money for... I don't know. I kind of want to try the teacher. <laughs> I'm really enjoying the teacher this episode. If we have just a whole school worth of teachers, they should be able to parry something from that guy, right? Ooh, I don't know what to watch right... Um, yeah, other than the fact that some of us are falling down the hole, that guy never stood a chance. <laughs> he just got wrecked. Okay, good. Oh, not good. Not good, not good, not good. Parry, parry and stab. Par parry and stab, please. Push him into the river? Yeah? Yeah! Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead somewhere. I'm pretty sure they get swept off the map, don't they? He's probably down here somewhere. No? Okay, it doesn't matter. He's lost. No evidence. The final two levels are probably the ones I've been looking forward to the most. We have the giant slam against three 
real big boys. And as far as I know, the only way of beating them is ranged units. You send in anything melee and it's just gonna get punched or treed, if that's even a verb, or backflip stomped into oblivion. So, unless it's a tornado. It is a special unit episode, okay? And I haven't seen a single tornado yet, which is pretty criminal if you ask me. So why don't we use just a couple of bards to keep them away and we can turn into a tornado and take down a giant. Is that too much to ask? Can you guys cheer just a little harder? Just a little harder, okay. Um, they're, they're kind of, that guy just got kicked. <laughs> is he okay? I don't think he's okay. Can confirm was not okay. I've got like tornado erectile dysfunction this episode because I cannot get a single one up and it is driving me crazy. I want a tornado to face off against giants. Is that so much to ask? I'm gonna use just one mace spinner, a whole lot of cheering, and you had better feel hyped up. Now go! Yes! Yes! There we go! We got worked! Desperate times call for desperate measures, and you guys know that I'm not a fan of the Scarecrow. I think his magic birds are baloney, but I'm really curious what they do against giants, and they can keep their range, and I can buy a surprisingly high number of them, so we'll try something like that. Okay, bird squad activate. That, that's a lot of birds. <laughs> that looks like it hurts, and they fought the birds for a split second. Let me guess, you guys are just gonna stand there in the field now, wait to get punched? You don't got any more crows to give? Oh, we got one of the giants, I think. I don't think he's just face down taking a nap. He's probably dead. Come on, guys, more, more, go. Yes! <laughs> the scarecrow actually did something. I can't believe it. What happened to this guy? Weird, we've never seen that strange little purple in-between phase, but he is definitely hurting. Same with this one. Whole bunch of bird explosions. Yeah, suck it. That's what you get for ruining my tornado. And last, but certainly not least, we have Artemis's Revenge with a whole lot of pain. I, I, I really don't think that there's any easy way of beating this unit, but we were surprised earlier by how frequently the samurai can deflect attacks. So maybe his superior can deflect even more attacks? I'm gonna spread you guys out just a little bit more because I don't know if she can shoot both of you. Oh, oh, uh, okay, good, good. Yeah, that's it, just take turns back and forth deflecting. Oh, you guys are deflecting full blown volleys. You got real close. Unfortunately, close is not good enough. How about we try speed? What if we send wheelbarrows? Wheelbarrow squad, activate. There's no way she can fire at all of you. She's gonna hit the wheels and then run her over. That's it. Don't let her get back up. How is this working right now? How is she not dead? Yes. I can't believe that worked. These are the, some of the worst units. I mean, like, look at them. That is not God killing material. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. And I think this is probably the biggest update to tabs ever, in all reality. Like, I love new maps and new units and new secrets and stuff like that, but user-generated content is infinite. This is just gonna make tabs go on forever. So if you guys wanna see more, as always, be sure to leave a like on the video, leave some recommendations for more campaigns, and maybe I'll return for more soon. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.